Ah, just raining outside and the gig master is hungry. Today we're going to do a taste test by grinding an entire beef brisket in a hamburger and compare it to a chuck roast hamburger. Taste it. Alright, this is going to be a strange little experiment. Uh, as much as I like brisket, I love cooking brisket, I like the taste of brisket and how juicy it is and how good it is, I always wondered what would it be like to take a whole brisket, grind it in the hamburger, and try it out like that? That's what we're going to do. And we're also going to grind some chuck roast and, and do a side-by-side -side comparison of them after we're done. So, stay tuned. We're going to start the process off right now. We're going to grind both of them up, uh, make hamburgers, grill them up, and see which one's the best. So, stay tuned. Here we go. Alright, let me show you what we got going on. I got an entire beef brisket, $2.96 a pound, right here, and I got a chuck tender roast right here, and that's $4.97 a pound, so this is a lot more expensive than this, but what I'm going to do, I got an electric grinder right here, we're going to grind both of these up individually and do a taste test between the two and see if the brisket actually going to taste any better than the chuck roast. I love my brisket, y'all see me cook these for it and they taste so good. And some of the fats one of the reasons why it tastes good sometimes. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes. But the first thing we gotta do is we gotta open these up, chunk it up a little bit, and put it in the freezer. Before you go, put it in the grinder, you wanna get it a little bit firm. Not frozen, but nice and firm. So let's go ahead and break out our knives and cut this into chunks, and then we'll get ready to put it in the freezer and then go from there. Stay tuned. Right, we got both of them cut up into nice pieces that should fit right into our electric grinder. If it doesn't, we'll have to cut a little bit more. But anyway, what we're going to do now is get it in the freezer and get it chilled down. So what we got here is the chuck roast cut. It's much leaner, as you can see, than some of this over here with the beef brisket. But some of the beef brisket is pretty lean. But this is the uh, chuck roast, and it's very little fat on that. A lot of fat on that. So we'll see how it turns out. We don't know. That's what we're doing. A little experiment here. Maybe the beef uh, chuck roast will taste better than brisket. I don't know yet. Uh, but we're going to give it a taste test. But first, let's get it all in the freezer. Get it chilled down before we try to grind it. All right, stay tuned. All right, we've got all the meat now in the deep freeze. We're going to chill it down and let it get a little bit firm before we try to grind it up. All right, let's get it in and let it get cool. All right, it's grinding time. All right, ground a nice big bowl of meat right there. We'll keep it in the fridge, keep it nice and cool right there and we're gonna keep grinding right here let's check it out see how it does right here then uh just putting them in here grinding them up making some hamburger out of the beef brisket looks like it's coming out good a little bit more fat content in this than it will be the other but that could make it good The electric grinder is doing good. Making burger. Grinding a whole beef brisket. Looking good for me. I like it. beef brisket is ground up let's check it out that's a lot of hamburger right there look at that i try to start mixing that up a little bit i have to mix this up too but right now we're going to clean this grinder out really good and uh separate this meat from the uh other roast and we're going to go ahead and fix it so there's no contamination between the two we'll go ahead and grind the other one up make two burgers cook them up and test them out stay tuned it's coming up for long here we go all right, here we got our chuck roast, much leaner, for sure. We know which one's going to be more healthier for us, for sure, I guess. But which one's going to taste the best is the next question. All right, let's get this uh, chuck roast in here and get her ground up. Did 
The chuck roast is ground in the hamburger now, and it's time to make the burgers. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to make two burgers, and we're going to test them out. All right, we've got two mini burgers made up. We're going to do a little taste test. Can you all tell which one's what? Take a guess. Which one is what? I think you might know. See, the more, a little bit more fat in the brisket burger than the chuck burger. You see, it was pretty much pretty lean. You still have a little bit in there, but nothing like this one. So, we'll go ahead now, here, get the grill going, fire it up, and do a little taste test. All right, our test burgers are on the grill. Uh, this one, of course, you can look at and tell which one has one on the left is the beef brisket burger. This is the chuck burger right here. I'm going to let them cook up. I didn't put any seasoning on whatsoever. No salt, no pepper, no onions, anything. I want to just plain meat so we don't have any differences in opinion because, just because of the seasoning. So anyway, that's what we got going right there. If you look back here, I got my Traeger going. Check this out. We got two pork shoulders smoking down. We're going to make us some barbecue here. You've seen that video, but that's going to be good right there. We're running about 225 right now on that. And we're going to close this off right now and get us some burgers going. Stay tuned. All right, we got them done. Are you all ready to taste test them? Let me show you what they look like first. This is the beef brisket. It did fall apart on me just a little bit there. And this is a chuck roast one. So let's give them a try right now. All right, let's get this one here right now. Nice and moist. Of course, it's going to be tender. Round up a hamburger. Okay, I like this. It. Very good. This one's definitely a little bit more firmer here. The way it, the way it ended up uh, cooking together. Definitely a little bit different flavor. A little dry. Definitely a little bit more drier than the other one. Well. Just because the taste is not that, I mean, they def, definitely do have a little bit different flavor, but they're both a good flavor. Uh, but the beef, the chuck roast one is definitely drier, and the other one's definitely moisture. And I do like the moisture better. If I had to choose between the two right now, I'd take the beef brisket. Just for the moisture part. Flavor wise, both of them are good. But just for the moisture wise, I think I'd take the beef brisket. And we got a lot to eat. That's going to be good, too, in, like, spaghetti and everything else. So, all right, well, taste test and cooking is done. We're going to Beef Brisket Burger. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Game Master, and you never know where we're going next, so stay tuned.